Welcome to the Four Play Cup Weekly. I'm your host, Sandy Bunker, where we recap the recent news and issues from around and surrounding the Four Play Cup Championship. This week, we're going to go back to Swing Haven. Ryan Fiala had a breakthrough with an 80, and he took the gross, while Dustin Ostrowski shot 81, and he took the net. On a double skin day for gross, anyhow, they had eight skins which were handed out, which is a four play record. The most exciting had to be a long sand shot on number eight from fellow member Bill Reardon. That definitely made Sandy Bunker's day. Now you heard the warning here on Trace Diablos and Diablos Nacha right here, last week's review on Swinghead. Well, the three holes played at an average of four over par. That's an average. Fiala played it the best at even par, and then he birdied number 17, while four members played it at seven over or worse. But like I forewarned last week, Diablos Nacha played havoc on Saturday, relinquishing only four pars and a couple nines and tens. It was definitely the hole where the tournament was won by Fiala. Bill Reardon tied with Fritz and leading by two strokes over Fiala, Brad and Dave Duncan with Williams back three strokes. Both Reardon and Brad Duncan get out of Diablo's Nacha with a nine. <laughs> While Dave Duncan got out of it with an eight, all three of them had a foul taste in their mouth, if you know what I mean. However, Ostrowski just posts a nine over as Fiala tees it up on the second of the Trace Diablos. Fiala birdies number 17 and eventually taps in for bogey on 18. But his story is far from over. Buzalaki and Holden Reeds, their solid back nine, still have their sights on Fiala's tourney title. However, their efforts were not enough to prevent Fiala's hold on, its, on his first win. Fiala or Ostrowski? It's tough to say who had the better day. Either way you look at it, both have made a serious push for the 2020 Four Play Cup Championship. Take two.